Hi, this is Brian Ierson from the Computer Workshop. Today's tutorial we're going to be covering how you will create your own custom cover page and store that within your copy of Word. So to start out with, I have a blank page open here inside of Word and I'm going to put in a logo as a background image. So I'm going to go to the Insert tab. I'm going to look for pictures and I'm going to navigate to locate my logo and insert that. Now looking at my format tab here for my picture tools, I'm going to go ahead and set a size that I want this to be. So I'm going to just go ahead and type in that I want this to be six inches high. So that looks pretty good and I'm also going to now adjust its transparency because I don't want it to be quite so bold in its color. So I'm going to come over to the adjustment group here and I'm going to knock the opacity down maybe 65 percent transparency maybe 80 percent you know I think 80 percent will do for what we're doing today next thing I want to do with my image is I want to position this in the center of my page so here again I am still on that format tab and I'm going to go over in the arrange group to the position drop down and center that both vertically and horizontally in my page. Next thing is I want to make sure that my text goes over this. So I'm going to use my little text wrapping control here, my layout options. And I'm going to move this picture so that it is behind my text. So if I put any text over this, it will just treat this as a basic watermark. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that option and then I'm going to set my cursor at the top of the document. Now I'm going to center align my content so I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut again of control E. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my formatting here. Now I could and I should use my title style or any of my styles but in this case I'm going to just keep things simple and make it the same as my normal but 20 points. And we're going to start by inserting a series of fields so that this will auto populate with the information when it is used. So we're going to go back to the insert tab. We're going to come over here to the text group and we're going to start with our quick parts drop down and I'm going to use a document property and I'm going to go ahead and put in the title of the document. Now since this has not had any title associated with it in the properties, it's just going to be an empty field for the time being. Now I'm going to set my cursor beside that and tap the enter key. Again, I'm going to control E to center align this and I'm going to say by space and put in the author. So once again, back over to the quick parts, document properties and we'll put in the author. Enter, 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 enter. And you notice how my cursor just moves beautifully over this so I don't have any problems. I'm just going to set my cursor down here just below that and add in a little bit more sort of default text. So create it on and then I have the date here. And since I want this date to always be updating, I'm going to use my text group, the date and time button, choose the appropriate format and make sure that my automatic update here is turned on or update automatically I should say. With all that in place I'm going to click OK and I'm going to tap the enter key and I'm going to write four space and if it capitalizes my four I'll just go back in and switch that to a lowercase one more time and I'm going to put the company name in so back up to the quick parts document property and we will add the company. Alright, so that is what we have created and this is the basic look and feel of our cover page in this example. So now I need to convert this into a cover page. So I have to select everything. And I can't click and drag. I'm going to use the control A keyboard shortcut because I need to also include in my selection the image as our background. Still on my insert tab, I have the cover page drop down. And since we have something actually selected, we can come all the way to the very bottom where you will see a save selection to the cover page gallery option. 
clicking on this, we're going to go ahead and give it a title. So I'm just going to use the abbreviation TCW underscore logo. Now I know that the underscore isn't necessarily a requirement here, but force of good habit, I don't like leaving blank spaces in my document or my building block names. And I'm going to leave everything else as is. I want this to appear in the cover page gallery. It's going to be in the general set of information within this. I can write a description. This is going to be part of the building block. And I can go ahead and make sure that my options is that this is set to insert content on its own page. Since this is a cover page, that makes perfect sense. We're going to go ahead and click OK, and that's it. That's all that is required. Now, if I close my document, and here again, I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, Control w I'm not going to save anything, and I'm going to create a new document, and I need to start out by putting a cover page to my document. I'm going to come up here to the Insert tab, go to the Cover Page drop-down, and I have to scroll down to the bottom of the list, and you can see here is my cover page. And you can see I have the title, I have my name, I have the date, I have the company. Well, I need this to auto-populate. And where do we get this information or put this information in? We do that back here on the File tab, under Info, and in the Properties. So in my title, I'll just put in a Quarterly Report. And I don't see my company name, so I need to come in here and expand to show all the properties. And then I can put in the specific company. And again, I'm just going to put in t the computer workshop. Oops. Sorry, computer workshop. And then I can come back into my document. And you should see all that information is now pre-populated. Now when you are saving something as a building block and adding it to the galleries, when you close the software down, you will be prompted to save that modification. And if you choose to save it, it will permanently be added to the program. If you choose not to, you would have to recreate it next time you come in and want to use it. So that's our tutorial for today. I'm hoping that you found this very useful. And uh, if you have enjoyed this, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do put out new videos every week. So we always are happy to have people come back in and see what else is new. So please, once again, if you like what you're seeing here, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, Take care.